Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation, and like the rest of my team, I am in a gym cold climate. Um, this is one of the new situation battles making the rounds. Um, it's five gym cold climates in this nice Arctic map versus an assortment of Xeon mobile suits, including, I believe, two Zakus, two Hygogs, and a Zagok E. So, this is the second uh, time we did this one, and... I did a little bit better this time. Um, I remembered how to gym a little bit better. Managed to, uh, you know, get time my stuns well. Work the legs with the machine gun, because the Jim Cold Climate's machine gun is fantastic. So, if you're good with it, you can deal with just about anything. Especially since I don't think... The, if there are any Xeon mobile suits that can stun at range on this stage, there is one. So, the gyms, if you're playing well, have a tremendous advantage. And we were playing well. The last time we did not, it, you know, it all comes down to, you know, who does a better job. It's, that's, situation battles are not perfect, but they're reasonably well balanced, if I hadn't screwed up my weapon cycling, I'd have had that person a minute before they could even get out. But I screwed up my weapon cycling. But I did uh, manage to get the pilot quickly enough, so... Cycled through, reload my machine gun, because it was not loaded. Hit, uh, hit the high gog as it came at me. Got just behind its shoulder to uh, shoot it. Thank you, sire. Um... So yeah, I was I was just playing fairly well this round. So I'm pretty happy with how this one came out. I didn't play well any other rounds this week. Um, I quit a round early just because I was so irritated. Uh, I didn't want to go on, and I'm sorry, guys. I just didn't. I was just going to drag uh, the team down, and that wasn't fair. You would be better with any random uh, that you could grab. So yeah, I just bailed, and. Yeah, so, but yeah, we had nine uh, out of ten slots filled with, you know, people in the group this time, so the other team wound up with uh, with the random player, and I don't know how well they did. I didn't look at their score, but this was one of those rounds that brought up questions of team balance, and I'll be frank with you, I hate questions of team balance. That's kind of why I took a long break from this game, because that came to be, like, the only thing we were talking about in between rounds, and the only thing we were doing is worrying whether or not we had the teams balanced properly. Situation Battle was supposed to fix all that, and for most of us, I think it has. But, yeah, so, at any rate, I'm not going through that part of playing the game again. So, it was best if, uh, for everybody if I just left for the night. But, yeah, I'm doing pretty well in this round. As you can see, I'm... <coughs> so, uh, pardon? Walnut stuck in the back of my throat. But, you know, it, what it comes down to is I just played particularly well this round for a change. I did not play any, well any other round tonight. And... You know, I'm keeping my distance, I'm cycling weapons efficiently, something else I was not doing the last Jim Cold Climate round I got to play. So, and, you know, I'm, I'm taking fairly good advantage of my uh, weapons range. I'm occasionally getting myself in too deep. Like, I noticed, I think I noticed that I was kind of advancing on the entire enemy team with only 2,700 hit points, which is an excellent time to stop advancing and get the heck out of dodge. So... That's what I did. I kept my distance. I let them focus on other people. Again, I noticed finally I was like getting in the middle of everything. They missed me. Luckily, they were more focused on the entire enemy, on the entire, well, their enemy, my team, in front of them. So I was able to get away. Getting away is good. Zgok was following me, but luckily one of our, uh, my teammates gave them something else to worry about. So... I'm just trying to support at range because my hit points are low. And eventually I just decided to uh, crouch here and see what kind of damage I could do. And the answer is, with the crouching bonus, quite a lot. So, 
I managed to get some decent shots in, but then the rest of the team was too far away for me to really, you know, make serious inroads on. If I, you know, if I'd had, like, some kind of voice chat, I probably could have, you know, told the uh, rest of the team to keep them in this intersection, but in the end it didn't, it wasn't even necessary, so. But I did get some damage in, and about this time, yeah, I did not know there was a tunnel on this map, but I saw one person going through the dark area and realized they were going to go bomb the base, so. I figured I had a half a shot on one-on-one, -on -one, so I decided to bolt for it. Besides, the rest of the team was doing fine and keeping the enemy busy, so, you know, I, I figured it, uh, it was me or nobody, so... And yeah, since I wasn't engaged, I was the best choice. So here comes the enemy Zaku. And... They're shooting me from around uh, uh, the carrier, which is good smart play. Caught me with uh, something that stunned me. I guess that one's that must be the Zaku Kai B type. It must have a Sturm Faust. But I abandoned my mobile suit because I knew it was you know one more good hit and I was dead. So, and I've gotten pretty good at si in situation battles where I'm not satisfied with my mobile suit with floating in the air and uh, keeping the enemy stunned. So I get a little too close here, so my subsequent grenades go over, which is bad. But basically, the good news is I kept them busy long enough, because when, of course, you get when you're uh, when you're fighting near the base, a warning goes off. So the warning went off, and New Strike Unicorn came to back me up. So again, just good play. So unfortunately, they did take out my mobile suit, which. It's kind of a shame, because otherwise I would have gotten zero deaths this round, which would have been nice. I don't do that very often, but they jumped up here. 50 seconds left. I realized I'm at a level to get shot, so I went up. But luckily, they were kind of busy with the other gym, so I didn't have to worry about it too much. I decided to get to the base and request a new mobile suit, because I was kind of useless as a pilot at those angles, so... Unfortunately, I had used up so much of my uh, jetpack that getting to the mobile suit became a thing. I wanted to get it as fast as possible because, you know, I figured the enemy would be coming this way to help their teammate, and indeed they are. Uh, the High Gog and I believe the Zagok E are both on the way. So I really need to be in something metal at the moment. So here we go. I'm in. I didn't even see the Zagak as the worst part. It just kind of blended in with the Jim Cold climate, so I was trying to go for the high gog. But, yeah, we won. It was a good round. We played well. And, you know, we made good use of the Jim Cold climate. That's what it comes down to. So, that, yeah, that was the round. That was the best one from tonight. And, you know, it's a shame we had kind of made plans with... You know, some folks that don't play as often anymore, like Ray and Dangerously 1986 and all, to meet up tonight, but I guess we got our time zones scrambled because they didn't show up. It was a shame. But we at least got a couple of good rounds out of this, so that's something. But at any rate, that is going to do it for this round of uh, Gun Battle Operation. The current promotion, for the record, is the... How do I say it? Hildolfer, I think it is. One of those nice German names they settled on for Xeon Mobile Suits in later productions that are practically impossible to pronounce. Anyway, it's a big tank. Um, but yeah, that's it for Gundam Battle Operation, probably for the week. And until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!